Hello and welcome back to my Turatech accessory installation series. Today I am installing the Rolliform skid plate. This is all the installation hardware needed. Seems like it's not much, but do you see that welded bracket at the top? Installing it will be a major challenge and the original instructions don't give you any hints of that. But don't worry, just keep watching and you'll see how to make it all work. The first step is trivial. We just need to remove the five screws holding the factory skid plate. One, two, three, four, and five. Easy. The next step is the total opposite of easy. According to the instructions, we need to slide this piece over the cross frame tube right next to the exhaust pipe with the screw holes facing forward. Then hook the main bracket piece to it and connect these two parts with bolts, washers and nuts. This is difficult but possible with thin, long fingers. Any person with bigger hands will struggle. Also, you will need to align that bracket with the skid plate, but once the bolts are in, even if they are just barely connected to the nuts, the bracket is too tightly attached to the frame to move it around. And that's why some tricks are necessary. First of all, take the skid plate and the internal strengthening plate, put them together and slide the skid plate into place on some kind of support so that it's as close to its final position as possible, like I did here with the bucket. Using the plate's position as your guide, put that rear bracket on the frame, but now with the screw holes toward the rear of the bike instead of the front. We can do that because the point on the bracket where the skid plate connects is symmetrical front to back. And it's not just my idea. BMW US Rider Academy in South Carolina uses these skid plates on their bikes and their mechanics do the same exact thing. Here is a photo of the bracket on one of those bikes. You can see that it's installed the same way I am doing it here. Now connect the skid plate to the bike with two screws at the front and one screw to the bracket. This gives you the exact final positioning of all parts. And here is the second trick. Placing a washer and a nut separately on top of the rear bracket is almost impossible. So I used a piece of masking tape, and I'm sure that some duct tape would also work, to connect them together. This way it's much easier to slide them into place and keep them there. Take one of these nut washer pairs, a bolt, and another washer, slide the bolt through the bracket holes and screw it to the nut, only as far as it goes by hand. Once this is done, remove the tape. Connect the other bolt the same way. Don't forget about the tape. Now you can add the last three screws, two in the middle of the skid plate and the last one in the center rear. All of these are hand tied for now. Once you have all screws in place, you can now tighten them properly. Do the skid plate screws first with a T30 Torx bit. Once those are tight, do the bolts connecting the bracket to the frame with a 5mm hex for the bolt and a 10mm wrench for the nut. And here's the end result. The bike is properly dirty, but the skid plate is nice, shining and functional. Thank you for watching.